Hello friends, welcome back to my motherhood studio. I am back today with a fun fun filled story of Puchku. Yes, we are going to read a Pratham book today and the story is about Puchku. The title of the book is A Book for Puchku and it's written by Deepanjana Pal. Come let's listen to the story. Puchku have a bath. Puchku eat your food. Puchku go to class. Puchku get on the bus. Puchku do your homework. Where is Puchku? Oh my god, we can't find Puchku. Puchku is busy. She has a book to read. Oh my god, Puchku reads all the time at home, in school, in the park, in bed. Page after page, book after book, one by one, she has read them all. Why are you always reading, Puchku? asks Boltu. Come, watch a cartoon instead, says Dodla. Books are so much more fun, says Puchku. Look, you see a circle and this straight line. Push it in, pull that out and it becomes a letter. Line up the letters and you have a word. Words can be wise. Words can be funny. Words can be sad. And words can be sunny. When you put words together, they make sentences. And sentences become stories. Read it and whoosh! You are in another world. But today, Puchku is in a fix. Can you all guess what has happened? She has run out of books to read. She has read all the books that she could reach in the library. She's read from chapter 1 to the end. What will I do? No more books to read! Feels Puchku. Wait! What's that over there? Puchku looks up and sees not one, not two, but three more shelves full of books. More books. Puchku whispers in delight. There is still one problem though. She's too short and the bookshelf is too tall. How can Puchku get up there? Maybe she can use a washing line or Ma's sari to climb. How about the chairs and tables in the room? It would really be helpful, thinks Puchku, to have a giraffe at hand, even a monkey or both. Puchku has a plan. She calls Boltu and Dodla for help. As quiet as they can, they climb on top of each other. Boltu, you are heavy, Dodla complains. Told you not to eat that last rasgulla. It's not me, Boltu hisses. It's Puchku. Shh! Almost there, says Puchku. Just then, it all goes wrong. Ah! What is happening here? It is a very tall librarian. She puts Puchku down. Boltu and Dodla runs away. Puchku looks up sadly at the book she's almost had in her hand. Can I help? asked the very tall librarian. I was trying to climb the bookshelf. I have run out of books to read, says Puchko sadly. Oh, why didn't you say so, says the very tall librarian. As long as I'm around, you do not have to climb a bookshelf. May I pick you up? Puchko nods. I will take this and this and this one too, says Puchko happily. Thank you. Take this one too, says the very tall librarian. When I was small, I loved this book. You were small once? Puchku asks. Oh yes, even smaller than you, says the very tall librarian. But then I grew and so will you. Until then, all you need to do is ask for a book and I will be here to give it to you. But is Puchku listening? No, she's not. She's inside her book, through a circle and a line and a letter and another then a word and another, a sentence and another and now a story because Puchku has a new book. Thank you 
you children for listening to our story if you enjoyed today's story please do give us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel thank you see you with the next story